Often when coaches leave one job for another, it's because the cupboard is bare. But that was not the case at Northeastern University. The cupboard was quite full. Yet Jim Calhoun left to become the new coach at Connecticut. The obvious question then would seem to be why. I had done what I could do there. I came there to do a particular job and had somewhat of a mission, I guess, for me personally anyways, and, 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 the, and the university, and we kind of did it together, certainly, uh, to try to get us to be one of the best mid-major teams in the country. And uh, I think that was accomplished, and I think somewhere, and I'm not sure, sure where, Mike, uh, I felt that was done. Jim Calhoun left the paved streets of Boston for the rolling hills of Connecticut, the sounds of traffic for the sounds of birds. But it was not just a change of scenery Calhoun was looking for. That really didn't concern me as far as where I coach. I, I think coaches do their jobs. They could do it probably on the moon if they had to. I think that the key situation was I felt there were things here in Connecticut, okay, uh, that were very attractive to me personally and to my family and to my coaching career because I wanted to continue that coaching career. So therefore, it, uh, it wasn't the, the trolleys versus the cows. It, in essence, really probably was much more a case of uh, what I was looking for professionally. The countryside is not all that will be different for Jim Calhoun this year. As good as Northeastern was, they never drew big crowds. Now there'll be 30,000 in the Dome. But the thought of more people analyzing his and his team's every move doesn't bother Jim Calhoun. You know, it's funny. That really has never really affected me. That's one of the things that I've never con concerned about the crowd-wise. I think it's good. I think all of us play to try to play in the largest arenas we can play in. And I, I think that's just a normal, natural thing from the, from the first time you ever pick up a basketball. But I, I don't think that's the greatest motivational factor. I think competing against those programs, Syracuse, Georgetown, etc., that, that, that's, that's exciting. So the stage is pretty much set for the Jim Calhoun era to begin at Stores, Connecticut. The only question that remains is how long before the Huskies take on the Calhoun stamp, the work ethic, the tenacious rebounding, the all-out hustle that marked his teams at Northeastern. I think we have to instill a philosophy, an idea. Second, we have to get more players. People always say you have to get better players. No, we have to get more players. We have some pretty good players here. We just have to get more of them. Uh, and we have to, once again, get ourselves to the point that we can compete in that mainstream. And, and once again, where that mainstream is, that means that you're fighting every year for an NCAA berth. Uh, that means every single year you're in the hunt. And I think that would be very, very important to me. As far as uh, how many years it's going to take us, how many months, I don't know. If we get enough good players to come into this program, it'll certainly happen quicker. If we don't, it'll happen a little bit later. But we think it's going to happen. The Connecticut Huskies have some of the most loyal basketball fans in the country. The entire state is poised and ready to rally behind a winner. Jim Calhoun thinks he can be the man to bring them just that. And his track record would seem to indicate that Connecticut fans are not going to have to wait too long.